We're a grassroots ministry. We have a drop-in centre around in Maryvale Street and uh, we, we deal with homeless people uh, on a daily basis. And today was a very sad day. Can you tell me why it was a sad day today? Yeah, we had a funeral for a, a gentleman that uh, attended our centre and um, yeah, he, he died uh, on the street. How old was he? Uh, he would have been just in his early 50s. It's, uh, look, it just, it's just shocking, it really is. It, it, working with people in, in the streets uh, quite often, it's, it's a common story that we hear. Uh, people dying at very early ages uh, in a country in Australia where, where the average uh, death age is, is uh, going you know, very late 70s, early 80s. It's, it's a really sad state of affairs. It, it, it's a story that we hear all too often about people dying on the streets from hypothermia, from uh, bad health conditions that, that uh, created uh, through living on the streets, not having uh, adequate clothing and, and uh, bedding and housing and stuff. So it, it's, a, it's certainly a story we hear quite a lot. In, in the country of Australia, in this beautiful city of Brisbane, it, it's really a shame that we have so many homeless people. What's it like to hand out backpack beds? What sort of an impact does it make? Right, I'll tell you, in the last few weeks, we've handed out at least 12 packs. And each one of those people have had the biggest smile on their face. They've come back to us within a day or two and they have thanked us so much because it has made a difference to the way that they're able to, to stay on the street. It, it keeps them warm, it keeps them protected, it, it keeps the bugs out off them. Politicians need to stop these death zones. Uh, it, it's, it's just a tragedy. There, there are a lot of uh, places in Brisbane where, where this occurs, and, and a lot of these places you don't see because they are out of sight, out of mind for, for most people that walk by on the street. Uh, I issue a challenge to the politicians to, to get into the, the, the centres that deal with homeless people, come in and talk to them, and get out on the street and see how people actually really live.